Hello and welcome back to Presenter Media. My name is Kara. Today we're going to take a quick look at one of the things you can do to customize the puzzle piece toolkit to your needs. The puzzle we're looking at is going to be the 5x5 puzzle layout which is available within this toolkit. We're going to go ahead and apply a background image to these puzzle pieces. That means instead of these pieces having the blue, light gray, dark gray, and orange, they're going to have, in our case, an apple for a background. So let's go ahead and get started. Right click and move down to Format Shape. If you're using PowerPoint 2013, this will open up the Format Shape dialog box on the right hand side of your screen. If you're using 2011 or older, it will open up a pop-up box that will give you the ability to then format this. Simply select Picture or Texture Fill, choose File, and locate that picture. In our case, we are going to be using one of our sample images, which is simply a picture of an back, uh, Apple background. So we have the apple up now, and you can see it's a little bit squashed. If we offset the image size by a negative 5%, which means instead of moving closer to the image, we're pulling it farther out towards the edges, we can get the image to fit nicely within these boundaries. Next, to be able to get rid of these kind of jagged looking lines, we're actually going to do a pretty simple step, which is just going to be giving all of these puzzle pieces a light gray shape outline. And if you notice, you can now see that light gray outline, but it's looking very similar to a shadow as opposed to that jagged edge that was there originally. I'll go ahead and show you this in slideshow mode so you can actually see how this is appearing. All right, here we go. And you can see how you can tell the difference between these puzzle pieces, but again, they don't have that jagged outline. Next up will be a tutorial where we are focusing on how to be able to apply this image across all of these pieces individually so we can actually give it an animation effect other than animating everything all at once. Again, my name is Kara with Presenter Media. Thanks for watching.